Hey, this is Jason Han from the String Cheese Incident, and I've got a lot of toys up here in my setup for our String Cheese shows, and I'll, uh, I'll give you a tour. These are my congas and bongos, and they all have different pitches to them. And they all, you know, evoke different things about it. And I have some foot uh, things going on down here. There's a tambourine. So if I, uh, if I have to kind of keep the beat on my own, I'm here. Okay, so that's this area here. And then to the left of that, this is a, kind of my centerpiece. I did a lot of studying of uh, of this particular instrument, in djembe. And it's great that uh, most of the djembe stands are upright where they sort of match the congas, but I like to keep it on an angle as if I'm playing it with a strap. And So I love having that be the centerpiece. I have another tambourine sort of down here, a foot tambourine, so I can be like. Um, so, and then over here, I have a Korg Wave Drum. It's an electronic synthesizer drum. Uh, the, some of the sounds I use imitate like uh, tabla drums from India. I used to carry um, actual tabla drums on stage but I am behind these guitar amps here, and it's pretty impossible to mic up without it feeding back or all kinds of weird things happening. So I have a, a tabla sound on the wave drum. Yeah, that's a tabla. And let's see, if I move back over here, stick to some of these drums. It's my timbali and bells and uh, different, uh, different mechanical sound set up. Uh, so if I play it like traditional Latin music, I can be like the, I can be like, some of these stack sounds. So I could be like. And I have these little Pac-Man set up uh, with these uh, tambourines here, so I can play in between it. Or maybe some drum and bass, like. kinds of stack symbols. Back here is a little more of an effect area. Here I have all these symbols stacked, but I love the way the sounds. It's a, it's a short, just kind of clump of sounds in here. little drum here. Kind of imitates a Brazilian pandeto drum. Or a tambourine. I'm sorry. And 
And then all these little toys here for sound effects. Sometimes I can hit this swirly symbol for an effect. That little R2-D2 up here and, uh, and Black Panther for some inspiration. And uh, just all kinds of little sounds up here that's fun to, to play with. So if I combine some of these things. And all sorts of swirly things here to uh, make some sounds with. Just everything is uh, to help the groove along. And then I've got my little washboard here when we get into uh, the bluegrass uh, music or some, uh, if we do some Norlene Zydeco sound and stuff. And uh, let's see. And I've also got talking drum, which, uh, which I really love. This is more of a Nigerian version. So can you use the pedals again? some different grooves and then let's see if I go over to this side and uh, let's see then we have just a um, just standard drum toms over here so sometimes we'll do some different grooves where it's kind of like See, I have a remote hi-hat here. And then some of these other drums here, there's a dar darbuka mounted here, tambourine here, Brazilian tambourine, another pendetto that has a a different vibe, but I play these with sticks usually. It just has a different quality to it. Again, if I do it with this little mini hi-hat. here, stack symbols here. So, uh, so let's see if I could go, maybe, let's see if I could do something here. Uh, And, uh, and then I also run uh, any of our uh, computer loops from back here too. And so there's my computer over here. I have an Ableton Push 2 over here. And then I have an iPad here. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, get, have all kinds of controls on the iPad. So if, uh, if I want to bring up a beat, let's say this one from a song we do called I Know Why, I hit here uh, and then I hit the beat here. That should come up in a second. So there's the beat. Usually when this starts out, I put a little auto filter on it. And I can use this Y pad 
to control some of the frequencies in it. Two, three, four. Boom. I can put some little effects on it. Yeah. And if I want to dub it out, I can go here. Or I can go here. Let's see. Uh, If I want to build something on top of it, I use the push too here. Find a little drum sound. I might go in here. If I like the sound there, then I'll go hit record. Now that sounds there. Hey, and I can mess with it. That auto filter again. Mm. And then, uh, somewhere, and then you finish. So that's my whole rig in a nutshell. <laughs>